Is there a difference between dating and courting? This question has baffled many of us. At the end of this video, you'll get to see my simple approach in order to differentiate between dating and courting. Hey church girl and guys who watch this, for the best Christian lifestyle advice and adventure, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a video every Friday when I post. I'm a God girl, that's who I be from the top of my head. A church girl damned me about this perspective a few months ago and she said that this perspective changed her entire lifestyle. <laughs> so let's get in. First difference. Dating is casual, courtship is intentional and directed towards marriage. Now, I personally, I must make a disclaimer that these things are my personal beliefs. I'm not trying to show a shade. I'm not trying to throw shade or anything. It's a biblical principle, it's cultural, so it's left for different interpretations. Back, 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 back in the day, in the old times, courtship used to be a thing where women weren't liberated and this man would literally just kind of sit back and then intentionally approach the father. Listen, sir, I like your daughter. Boops, they're married, right? Because dating wasn't a thing. You weren't going to meet people. You weren't going to like casually go around and explore your options. No, because remember that women were objectified. Now, as time went on and women became good as and all these things, unfortunately, with liberation came a lot of sexual immorality. Women went into the cities and then that's when dating started. So dating is a pretty new concept. It's maybe as old as the car. How old is the car? I don't know, but I read that somewhere. But, so that's where it stems. So for a lot of Christians use dating and courting interchangeably. I don't think we should write off dating completely as Christians. I think that dating, getting to know people, casually having group interactions, maybe going on a formal date here and there, I think is a part of the process. Like if you don't know people, how you're going to lock down with one person, that don't make sense. Make it make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. But I think what we should be aiming towards is dating intentionally and dating purposefully. And maybe I make another video on that completely, but it's not the loose type of dating. It's not the have sex here, have sex there. No, that's not what we do, boo boo. We don't do that around here. We're focused and we're committed and we're going to be doing everything that we do intentionally. So just to get our thoughts together, this is the first point. Dating is much more casual, just meeting people. While courtship is the second stage for me, it's a second stage where you are no longer meeting here and there. You have committed to that one person and you're leading up to marriage. You are talking about the future. You are planning your life together. You're talking about finances. You know, a lot of those things, serious conversations happening. It's more than just what color you like and what's your favorite food. No, it's about how do you budget? How do you invest? And it's more purposeful. You know that this relationship is approaching marriage. So for me, it's just a level up. It's a step two. I don't use them interchangeably. I just think it's a step two. Second difference. Dating can happen in groups. Courtship, not really. <laughs> you can have group dating. And some people are very open about the fact that they are dating multiple people. Now, don't get it twisted. Sometimes we misconstrue the concept of dating multiple people because we tie dating to opening our legs and no, no, that's not how it's supposed to go. I think it's perfectly fine for people who are just meeting people and just talking to people to meet people. So it's just friendship. It's literally stage zero where you're opening your eyes and you're looking around to see if there's somebody you would want to court. Courtship on the other hand is when you have finished that stage and you've decided that, listen, I like that guy or I like that girl and this is a person I want to talk about marriage with this is a person I want to plan my life with so let's have this discussion let me know in the comments below where you stand and why dating multiple people at the same time yay or nay very difference dating can lead to confusion sometimes while courtship is pretty clear the thing with dating if you're not careful you will lead people on and you will take them for idiots you know, you will take people for granted, you'll string people on and you'll mess up the system and mess up the headspace. What are we? What is the next step? So is this going to be, is this going to be defined? All of those questions are, are, are around the place because you're texting this person every day or not going to this little social. However, courtship, you're usually very clear. You usually lay out everything. 
everything is laid out on the table you know what the plans are you know exactly what you are and what you mean in that person's life and you know where you stand and where this relationship is going so even if situations get sticky it's going to hurt but maybe not so much because you were very clear in the beginning fourth difference dating gives you free food and in a courtship you have to cook <laughs> oh gosh no no it's a joke it's a joke you are nobody's slave okay remember you know you are nobody's slave remember that you are valuable and you're an addition to anybody's life people don't forget that never never forget that period but the fourth difference is dating sometimes lacks accountability while courtship is usually a family affair when you're dating you're either not ready to introduce that person to your friends yet or your family yet and you're also not going to introduce every single person in your intimate space so you tend to be alone a little bit more you're not accountable to anyone and that can be good or bad it can be good in the sense that you're not creating these emotional ties with your family and everybody else or your friends and everybody else as well as it can be bad because you're not really accountable to anybody so that leaves doors open for you to do enough things in other quiet and you know like i don't do good and um no a lot of things in the quiet that you you're not supposed to do like it opens door to having casual sex and being loose and stuff like that which you know we don't do around here not at all fifth difference in dating you're still kind of figuring things out you're not you're not sure what you want yet you're not sure if you like people who chat enough so because of that in those early stages if you're not careful you can become very self-absorbed that's why we did purposefully while courtship on the other hand by the time you reach courtship stage you usually know what you want and you usually can communicate that this is the difference between dating and courtship to me i don't think that they're mutually exclusive i think that one is stage one and the other one is the upgrade but how do you get there you have to get there somehow you have to flirt and stuff like that so remember check out my 10 step guide to christian flirting should christians even flirt i don't know the video is somewhere up here so i'm not so sure how this youtube thing work so the video is going to be here and you can just jump over to that video for your 10 step flirting guide before you go before you go we have to grow this community and my next goal is to get our tribe to 1k so i'm gonna ask you to take a screenshot and you're going to post this to all your social media platforms and speak about one thing that resonated with you in this video also if you want to join a community of like-minded christian women to support you on this journey i just started the dare church girl tribe group on facebook so if you click the link below you can join and have fun we can we send anonymous questions over there and we get to talk about real issues and we get to connect on a level that we just can't connect here it's much more intimate a beautiful community Check out these other videos on how to guard your heart and how to deal with insecurities. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend and see you next week. Thanks for watching.